What is up guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Dark Cloud 2 for the PS4. Last time, went to the Great Forest Swamp and saw some furbits who were in a trance. We fished up King Martin to free the furbits from the charm. And now we gotta head back here to Sandane. I think there should be a cutscene when I enter this room, I think. Yep, here we go. Ah, it's you! Is everyone alright? Yes, everyone's alright. Boss! We were gone a long time. What have you been up to? We'll tell you everything later. What about Holly? Where is she? Where's Holly? I am sorry, but Holly isn't anywhere. Okay, hold it a minute. Listen, you two. Now that we've got everyone together, it's time for us to hold up our end of the deal. In return, can I ask you two to go search for Holly for it? By the look of things, I guess Holly really did find that legendary rainbow butterfly. Eh? It must be true that all those who lay eyes on it never leave the forest again. The only way to find Holly is to find the rainbow butterfly first and fall under the same spell. And then, just break the spell, of course. Rainbow butterfly, huh? I don't know. Do you really think it exists? Alrighty, we got ourselves a deal. We'll help you guys out, and you go find Holly Forest. Alright? All clear? Okay, we'll try. It's settled then. You better get a move on, lads. Yeah! yeah! gonna do I have no idea what in the world's that noise what's that thing what the heck is that I don't know <gasps> wow whoa I can't believe it! This is just amazing! What an incredible machine! <laughs> How cool is that? You like that, eh? With this thing, you can make anything you want. Plant trees, build houses, whatever. Truly amazing! Can I get on board? Sure! By all means! Control room for our pal, Carpenterian. This is the ultimate building machine, forged from all of the technology handed down through our fervent generations. Besides houses and buildings, it can build lots of natural things too, even trees and rivers. Looks like we can bring back Jurak's origin point with this. Hey, don't forget to find Holly for us now. Yes, we know. What's that? That's the reactor where you put the geostones. Geostones? Yep. Geostones are mysterious stones invented by the ancients. The geostones contain all the advanced knowledge of the ancient one. Carpenterian is a revolutionary machine that uses the technology packed inside the geostones to make new things. When you put a geostone into the reactor, Carpenterian can star the data for building whatever is recorded on the Geostone. That way, you can make new things. Just to warn you, even with the necessary data, some buildings can only be built on certain types of land. 
Diorama explanation adds a help menu. I think it's like Monica said. Someone changed the forest here. But if you collect geostones hidden in the forest, you just might be able to change this place back to the way it used to be. Sounds great. We'll do it. Let's go then, Monica. You bet. We're counting on you to fight Dolly. All right, so we unlocked Diorama, uh, which is in Dark Cloud 1 and 2. It also is in White Knight Chronicles 1 and 2 as well. And Giorama is basically building your own town, basically, more or less. You just used that stone. You're at Lamelia. What? You mean this red stone? That's right. It's not just a pretty rock, you know. It's got mystical powers that let you pass through time. And the one I've got is the blue at Lamelia. They each have their own powers. Red brings you to the future, and blue to the past. With the two of them, we can use this gate to move back and forth between past and future. When we get Jurak's origin point back, we can use this gate to go see him. Hold in a minute. My father gave me this stone. Why did he have something like this? They say an Atlamilia can pick who it wants to belong to. It must have picked your father. And then it picked you, Max. What? Me? Anyway, the main thing now is to get Jurak back. I bet Jurak can tell us all kinds of things. About Griffin, about the rainbow butterfly. I guess you would know. Now we've really got to get to work. We have to get Sindane back into shape and bring back the great elder Jurak. All right. You can now use Carpenterion, so why don't you try rebuilding Sindane? When you change Sindane, it may affect other things in the world as well. You can jump through the time gate 100 years in the future to check. You may meet people you've met before or find new events waiting to happen there. But first things first, right now your main priority is to bring back Jurak. So if you come over here and press select, you can enter the Carpenterion. And the first thing you're going to want to do is clean up all this trash, like the rocks, the grass. Because it's going to take space. And you don't want that to happen, so just delete all this stuff. Well, you need trees down. I shouldn't have removed the tree. Yeah, let's get rid of all the grass, all the rocks, and all the logs. Actually, it's okay if I clean up that tree, because I'd rather place them over here somewhere, out of the way. Yeah, you can even clean up the Furbit's house, but uh, one thing you have to do... I want to place it, I think, about right there. You need to place a fence around the whole entire thing. We don't have access to a fence right now, so we can't do it. Uh, we need to place, uh, I think, 10 trees and 15 rivers later as well. But we can't do that either yet. Let's go back. Let's go through the gate. You can skip that cutscene there. It just takes you here. It's all it is. You didn't miss anything with that skipping the cutscene. It's just like an animation thing. Yep, and here's where you can get some uh, chest. As you complete more floors in the Rainbow Butterfly Wood, then will be more chests will show up here, of course.
Now that's a potato pie for Max there. And they have the same amount of hit points, but I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give the first I'm gonna kinda even them out. So the next fruit of Eden I'll give the Max. Then I'll give the next one to Monica and I'll just rinse and repeat. You know, lately it's been a, it's been quite kind of lonely. It feels like something big's missing, you know? Anyway. It's lonely because it is lonely. Look, there's nothing here. It's just you. Anyway, we'll be able to build more in the Georama as soon as we get more Geostones. And we get Geostones from the dungeon, so that's where we're going to go back to right now. We need to go back to the Great Swamp. And we need to go to where Master Utan is. I don't think I ever entered the Furbit's house either, but I need to enter the house to, uh... Can we get a picture of the apples or no? Uh, make sure to take a picture of Master Utan if you didn't already. No, you can't get a picture of the apples. Figured I'd try. Hey, you're back. Master Utan, you're looking a lot better now. Sure. I just ate something I wasn't supposed to, after all. I'm going to be more careful from now on. Yeah, that's a good idea. By the way, we want to ask you a favor. Hmm? We want to get through here. Do you think you can move that boulder for us? Oh, that. Piece of cake. Wait right here. Master Utan, you're so strong. <laughs> How about that? Guess I still got it. Oh, oh I guess you don't okay? still got it. <laughs> oh boy, I've gone and sprained my back. I think I'll rest here a while. You go on ahead. Maybe you should exercise a little more often. But thanks a lot. You really helped us out. Right. We'll see you later. Alright, so Master Dean opened the pass for us. When I was but a little one, I could hurl rocks like these as far as the I could see. I hate getting old. Yeah, don't we all? Don't we all? But it's part of life. This is a geostone. Attack and defeat all enemies using only the Rypod. So I guess I can do that. I'll try anyway. Rypods. Hasn't really been upgraded at all. Not that it really needs to be. Yeah, I can still two shot enemies. My Monica get all the EXP though. Because I want her to get all the EXP. So what you do is you go away from the pods. And then you do that. You have to switch to Max and then the Rye Pod. You can't switch to the right pod with Monica. 
I think you can also get a character and then just select Monica as well. I'm not sure which one's quicker. Okay, new enemy here. Face of Prag Pragna. I think in uh, block attacks, it has like a. It creates like a barrier that blocks attacks. It'll like put up its, uh, I think, fan or whatever the heck it is. I can't remember what it is. There we have our first Geostone over there. Received a Geostone, alright. Crystals, nice. I love getting crystals. Ah, great mole. These are hard to hit with the right pod. I think I think it's actually quicker to just go to character and switch to Monica. I think seems like it's quicker. Eleven sturdy cloth. Wow. Yeah, it is quicker just to go to character. Both our weapons are about to level up, which is nice. Can't enter that anymore because I already used it. That yeah, is really annoying trying to hit these uh, mowers with the ripod. down here. Yep, another mole. Hey. Thank you. 
Oh, I got a lot more enemies over there. Figured I was about done. I would say I'm not about done. <laughs> Oh wow. Well, seventeen synthesis points. I think it's my attack again. Alright, Mole. Eight silver balls. Seven earth elements. All right, Look, cool. We got them all. all right, so you can actually fish in um, the dungeons. And if you break a record, you get... Um, a medal. Oh, my video just got done. Uh, editing. Oh, rendering. I gotta handbrake it, though. Uh, I was editing uh, Final Fantasy 10-2 HD Remaster All Bosses. So that'll be uploaded shortly. Got a small one there. Also, if you have an aquarium, you can actually put fish in the aquarium. Uh, but I don't have it yet, as you can tell.
Oh, this is a small one as well. Fishing, fishing is actually really fun in this game, unlike other games. Like Final Fantasy XV's fishing was terrible, but this game's fishing is amazing. This one's a little bit bigger. Oh, the faster the bar fills, the bigger the fish. As for fishing points, I'm going to put all the points into luck, I feel. Because luck allows you to catch bigger fish, which will eventually give you more points. So it's better to get luck up first. I'm not going to be fishing for that much longer, though, in this episode. I'm going to start fishing off screen so I'm gonna show fishing for a few more minutes maybe I'll catch like one or two more fish and then I'll fish all the rest off screen it's a small one Catch one more fish and then that'll be it. That'll be all I show. get one this time. Fish a little deeper. Usually the further you cast affects the fish as well. This is what I'd like to believe anyway. I don't know if it's actually true or not but what I like to believe. Otherwise, what's the point in even getting flight up? You can't actually see the fish in the water either like you could in Dark Cloud 1. Dark Cloud 1 you could actually see the, all the fish that are in the in the water. This game you cannot. As you can tell you can look in the water you won't see anything. Alright guys, I'm gonna keep fishing. And after I use up all my bait, I will uh, go to the exit. So I'm going to go in the video here actually. So I'll be going to the exit off screen.
in the next episode of we'll go on to the next floor so thank you guys for watching stay tuned for the next episode and later and by the way you don't have to fish I'm only doing it for fun mainly